All right, my meatloaf. It's fairly uh, simple meatloaf, but it has a few ingredients. Uh, there's 500 grams, about a pound and a quarter of ground beef. I've got, what's that? About three quarters of a cup of um, zucchini. Uh, best part of half a cup of uh, onion. I've got, again, the best part of half a cup of carrot. Right, uh, I've got some beef dripping which I'm going to use and waste not, want not. And I've got an egg, I've got some herb de Provence, you can use whatever herbs you like. I've got some sage, I've got some thyme. Thyme goes rather well with courgette, with zucchini as I'm told to pronounce it. A couple of cloves of garlic, some English mustard, some salt. I've, I'm using uh, Cornish sea salt. Use um, kosher salt, uh, Himalayan salt, something good. And I've got some black pepper, dash of Worcester sauce, and you'll need some ketchup for this as well. So that's pretty much everything. You'll need some oil for frying, of course, and some spray oil, oil for the uh, loaf tin. So I want to get my bread ground up because that's the breadcrumbs for the meatloaf. And I'll do that right now. So into my bowl goes my bread. I just break it up, make it easier for it to grind up. And I think I'll toss the herbs in. Uh, let's put, actually, no, I won't. I'll do something extra with the herbs. I'll get that in. Okay, that's just broken up nicely. I just need to grind it up now. Once that's ground up, I'm just going to now put that straight into my mixing bowl. And I want to take half of the meat, which I'll just drop in little balls into there, and along with the egg, maybe a bit more meat. So that's half of the meat in there with an egg. And I'll give that a whiz until it's kind of smooth. So you don't need to whiz it for long, just to get everything ground up nicely and it adds a different texture to the meatloaf. So I'm going to get that into my bowl. So there's my bowl, it's got the ground up beef in it and also the straight ground beef that can go in. And the next thing I want to do is chop up my garlic. And then we need to fry off these vegetables. Okay, into my frying pan. I want a bit of dripping. Get that in. There's a bit of beef coming, a bit of beef juice coming away with it, but that won't hurt. And we'll get in the onion. The carrots. And the zucchini and I just want to stir and fry that for a while till the onion goes translucent okay I've added in half a teaspoon of thyme half a teaspoon of herbe de Provence and half a teaspoon of my organic sage and I'm stirring that in along with all my garlic and I'm just activating those herbs and softening the vegetables slightly and that will really make for a big difference in the finished meatloaf. All right, so into that now I've got two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of mustard, I'm using English mustard, use whichever mustard you like. I've got a dash of Worcestershire sauce in there and I've got lots and lots of uh, fresh cracked black pepper and I'm just going to mix start mixing that in with my hand now along with all the breadcrumbs and you want to mix it well I did another meatloaf recipe some time back but that's quite different to this but I'll put a link to that one up in the uh, up in the cards and also down in the uh, description below this mixing stage is very important, you've got to get this right. 
mix it in well. Okay, I'll set that to one side and show you the next step. Okay, my next step, I'm just going to hit it with some spray oil. Like that. And press it all into the mould. Messy, isn't it? Gets the job done though. So what you see me doing now, you're gonna, you're probably thinking, why is all them veggies on there? Well, that's the way I'm doing it. It might not be the way you do it, but this is the way I'm doing it. And for the way everyone else thinks I should do it, just read the comments. I'm just teasing it down at the edges. So you end up with it looking something like that. And into that, I'm gonna put three thumb holes. One thumb hole, two thumb holes, three thumb holes. And they punch all the way to the bottom. Into the thumb holes, we fill it with ketchup. Like that. I'm gonna cook that actually in a bain marie. So I'm gonna get myself a large tray and into that tray I'm just going to pour some water a couple of mugfuls of water should do the trick and then that goes into the oven right let's have a look at this Lovely. Just want to check the internal temperature. I'm pretty sure it's fine, but I'll just do it anyway. Needs to be above uh, 160 Fahrenheit or above 71. It's 88 Celsius, so it's above 71 Celsius, and we're good to go. So, right, the next thing I need to do is let that cool off a little bit and then we'll drain it off that we'll drain off that fat and then we'll have a look see what it looks like inside one point to note is that uh, the, the ketchup holes as the internal cooks it pushes up the ketchup and pushes the ketchup out so it acts as a kind of an indicator that it's actually done and it also adds a delicious layer of ketchup to your uh, meatloaf okay it's cooled down a bit the, uh, all the water evaporated during the cook-off so I'll get myself organised and we'll tip that into there and that fat will be delicious I can use that for another stir fry or something don't want to lose the good stuff alright let's have a look at this see what it looks like inside Oh yes, and that should also be rather nice, cold, but I'm going to serve that, a um, couple of slices of that for my brother and I, hot now, with some potato salad.
If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.